Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over to my YouTube channel, Septeria18. I've come up with another fun project to show you guys in this video that I had created. It's an interactive loaded pocket. So it is another fun Happy Mail ID for those that like uh, doing Happy Mailing swaps. It's also a fun junk journal ID for those that like to do junk journaling uh, or just a little project for you to make if you want to gift a uh, a crafty gift to uh, a crafty swap partner so this is what i've made here and it is a great simple project you don't need a scoreboard to make this really fun project so for those that don't have a scoreboard but love to make these kind of uh, interactive uh, flip books or mini albums uh, you can uh, make this without a scoreboard um, it is a uh, bit bulky so it can hold some fun uh, package uh, goodies uh, I did use this as a closure down here to keep it closed but because it is a bit bulky you can use a belly band or some nice ribbon uh, to be able to keep it closed to the the thickness of your packaging as well so you, you don't have to use one of these um, but I'm going to show you the inside and then I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can put this together as well um, I'm also going to show you uh, another way to make it even more interactive uh, pocket uh, than the way I've done it here as well but I'll show you the inside so this here is the front pocket that I decorated and up here is your top loading pocket and I've got in here this really cute uh, wood pick embellishment that I made and I did a project share video I think uh, on these little wood pick embellishments and that was fun to make. I've also got in here a little packaged embellishment that I also had made. It's really lovely and it's ready to uh, put in your projects. Um, this is a new listing in my Etsy store. Um, you get a random print embellishment and I'll show you the inside how it looks like. And then it's ready for you to add to your projects or you want to gift to somebody this is the embellishment and then there is also a bonus uh, die cut shape that you could use in your projects and it's got these nice stitch edging around it and then you can have it that way or that way so that comes with the embellishment and I'll just quickly show you the other ones that will be listed so again you get a random embellishment but they're all lovely nice colors and just perfect to add to your projects so that's that I've also put in the pocket a mini file folder using a 6 by 6 paper with two pocket inserts and this would be great you can use this in your traveler's notebook as well uh, in your planners or use this as just another little simple way to add your gifts and tuck them in the pockets got a package embellishment which is a polaroid shape with some vellum i won't take it out of the packaging but uh, just to show you that this will also fit in there uh, this is a little paper flower uh, that i make i have them in my stall and then i made a bag topper using uh, just some paper scraps i have a video tutorial as well on how you can make these little bag toppers so i'll put the link for that down below but i managed to put that in there and then this is the inside of the pocket and then when you turn this around it has a little flip page and this bit up here is great you can use this side to add another envelope and add more goodies you can add a, a little pocket down here and make that a tuck spot a photo you can use this to junk journal or add your note for your uh, recipient so there's a lot of fun ways you can use uh, this part and then over here is the flip page and over here you can again add more goodies by uh, putting a little package a uh, self seal bag and place some washer to hold it and have that as a place to uh, put your packaging uh, you can add washer sample and wind that around the card and then if it's single-sided paper it's great as well because you'll have your print on this side and then on this side which will be your blank part you can use that to write your note uh, your message your information to your pen pal or you can add a photo so that's still great if you have single-sided paper for this side and then over here is that little pocket 
which just so happens to fit this um a tea bag satchel and then that just sits in that pocket like that so it can fit a tea bag for those that like tea and over here another great little spot again to do what you like you can add another envelope and have two envelopes to have more goodies or leave it blank add a photo there's so much you can do with these two panels so that then closes up like that and then on the back here is another interactive uh, spot for you i've got here some vellum that i just use as a little flip page i didn't do anything here because i'm still not sure what i want to do yet but uh, you can add some vellum if you have vellum and what you can then do on this side you could add your own embellishments that you have made and put a pop dot on the back and then you can adhere that just to the back there and then your recipient has a little embellishment gift that you've made for them that they could use and then that just closes up like that and this is a, a circle shape punch that I have and then I punched out the circle then I cut it in half and I place glue just on the bottom here that way the uh, little vellum can just get tucked in there and it doesn't you know fall, uh, sort of swing around and that just gets tucked in there or you can put your embellishment in the front like that and have it placed in the front there so that is uh, another option and then i'm going to show you how you can make it more interactive but i'll show you how to put it together this way first and you're going to need a few pieces of paper you can use your scraps like i said so um don't waste your scraps you can make the uh, album with that or sorry the loader pocket with that but what you're going to need you're going to need to cut a piece of paper at four inches by eight inches you're going to need to cut another piece at four inches by four inches and i'll just make a, a note if you have tour by tour paper you can cut your paper at four inches by eight inches and then you have another piece here at four by four so then you can just use those two pieces to make your pocket base which is going to be this one and then you have the four by four which is this one here but I use two different papers because I wanted to have two different patterns. But you can do that. And then you want to cut another piece at 3 inches by 4 inches. That piece doesn't have to be that size. That is this uh, piece here. As long as your scrap paper or the piece you're going to use um, is the size that's going to fit with inside this 4x4 four four panel that's all you want to make sure that this piece will fit inside that panel and then you want to cut another piece at six inches and again with the height this one here is two and a half inches by six that is this pocket here so if you have scrap papers that are about six inches long and even if it's one and a half inches that's still fine because your pocket will still be enough to uh, hold your little uh, goodies in there as well so it doesn't have to be this height and you can even make it a little bit higher as you, if you like again as long as it's within the four by four size but with the length six inches is fine so that's what you need for that and then for the vellum if you want to use vellum or any other piece of paper you just for, again want that piece to be the size that's going to be within the four by four size all right and then you want to have a, a brad which is going to be this closure here and just a little shape that you have you can use a circle shape punch this is a three and a quarter inch size you can use a square size uh, you can make a little banner shape um, you could use a triangle so anything you like just something that you can use to keep as a closure so what we're going to do now we're going to make the base which is going to be the pocket and again you don't need a scoreboard but if you'd like to use a scoreboard you can use the measurements that i'm going to um, mention in the video now with the four by four quite easily we just go sorry with the four by eight we're just going to fold that over in half quite um, simple to do and then just grab your bone folder and just press down that fold line so that part's done now we're going to grab the 4x4 piece 
and we're going to fold that over um, about a quarter of an inch you don't need to fold it any more than that a quarter of an inch is uh, plenty and just fold that down I'm just going to use the bone folder this paper is quite heavy so it's sometimes hard to get a right nice straight fold that's okay and then we're going to cut the angles out up to that fold line that's just going to make it easy for us to uh, fold your papers and then with the six inch side with whatever height that you've chosen we're going to fold that over as well at about a quarter of an inch press that down and the same with your other piece at three by four It is a lot easier with a scoreboard, but it will still work if you don't have one, so that's fine. And with your vellum, same thing, just folding that over as well, and just doing the same as what we've done with the papers. So what we're going to do now, we're going to grab the paper that we folded in half, and you want the opening on the left side. And you're going to grab your piece that's uh, four by four and when what's going to happen is we're going to be placing it in like that so that becomes your flip you will also notice that it may be out um, sort of off the edge a little bit you can trim that off about one eighth of an inch or just if you like it to line up a little bit if it's um, a bother but i'm fine with it just still sticking out and then we're going to grab the glue and you're going to glue the inside of that panel or your double-sided tape we're going to place it on the top here now and just slide that in and just aligning the pocket below that fold line so that way see and that will open and close so we've got that part done we're going to grab the piece uh, that was at this with the six inch length we're going to um, fold this side over I'll go this way you want the um, part that we with the flap on the right we're going to fold this over and you want to again just making sure that lines up below that fold line So making sure that part's on the right side and we're going to apply glue all along here and up here and that will be the pocket uh, where I have placed the tea bag in I'm going to close that up and seal the bottom and now we're going to come back over here oh actually let's just put that to the side for one second I forgot to uh, give you the step to do the closure so we'll just go and do that first so you go, grab your little uh, shape and use your paper piercing tool this is a little foam square I don't know it was from a packaging that I had and I thought it'd be perfect for me to do my paper piercing um, so you're just going to punch a hole just close enough to the bottom there like that and then with the um, paper that we've uh, just assembled we're going to line that up or place it onto your little foam 
or cutting mat you can use your cutting mat you're going to punch a hole uh, somewhere in the middle about here let me just press that in and grab that little circle and your brad and we're going to insert that in there and then place it inside that little hole we've just pierced like that and I'm going to turn that over and we're just going to open that up and when you open up your brad you want to make sure that your brad lines up with the edge of your paper I'll show you what I mean so you want it like that on lengthways so I'm just going to close that back up that way and then you've got that flap and then that sort of will be the uh, closure so that was simply made so now we're just going to go back over here to that um, pocket I'm just going to open that up now I'm just going to put a little bit more glue it's probably dried up put that glue and then just making sure that opening is on the top you're going to want to place this in here and you can decide where you like it to be i'm just going to place mine about here from the edge and then just seal that little flat bit and that will be the part where your pocket will open and close So you've got that and now we're going to grab the other piece that was at three by four again just putting glue to the part that we made the fold and then you want to place that again wherever you like on your pocket you can place it up here you can place it down here i'll just place one about there I like things to kind of stagger a little bit. It makes it more interesting and then you'll be able to see the different patterns of your paper. I'm just going to place that on there. And then that should seal nicely. And then you have that. You've got that. And, and that's glued in. And then you'll have that. Sorry, it's all wet because <laughs> the glue hasn't dried enough. But you've got the idea of um, how the pages will go in. So let's go here and I'll show you. So that is the cover. Then you've got this part here. And then you've got that little pocket, which is that one. And then you've got this, this spot here. Right, so that part's done and now we're going to go over to this side and you can grab your piece of vellum um, or whatever you like sorry i'm just gonna close this up so again with your vellum you want to just place that on the other side because now the opening is on this side now you're going to place that on that side but um before i do that i just wanted to i'll let you know about the interactive part you can then make it more interactive with this side here. You can glue it keeps sticking to everything. You can repeat that same process you've done here with these three pages, with this flip, with that page and that pocket. You can do the same on this side and have that flip going up that way, have another pocket and have another page. That way you'll have a double interactive um sides with the motor pocket so that's just another way if you want to make it more interactive and fun with more uh, spots to open and add more goodies but i'll just show it to you this way and then with the vellum i just place it anywhere in the middle like that and lining that up and that will give you that little flip page And now we can close up the pocket once you're happy with everything and now all the little inserts are put in you're going to now just apply glue all along here and then all along the bottom here to close up your pocket and then all along and making sure you put enough glue here where we've got the little brad 
just to keep it still. And then just bring it over and press it all down. And that should give you your pocket now. So I'll just place this one so you can see. So there is your pocket up here. And then you turn that down and then you'll have your top here. You have that. You have a pocket here. I haven't got my... This will fit. That's your pocket in there. And then you have this part here as well. So that is a fun interactive loaded pocket that you can make as a Happy Mail ID. And hope you enjoyed this fun project. It's probably not as neat. Um, the way I've made it but um, you have an idea of how to put it together and um, I do hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you all soon bye